Hi everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to do an updated video of a video I did about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. I am gonna show you my perfume collection. I did this video, as I said, about a year and a half ago and it was quite popular. People really loved it and I've added to the collection since then and so I thought I'd uh, show you today what the collection is so so where I keep my perfume is just to the side of my vanity here as you can see in one of these little cubby holes the this cubby section is connected to the vanity this is actually a desk from Ikea but I use it as my vanity and the Sun doesn't hit them there so that's where I keep them now I'm gonna pull them all out and show, show you what I have one by one okay so I have a bunch of tiny little perfumes that I keep in a drawer, not up with the rest of the perfumes. So I'm just going to buzz through those really fast. I'm not really going to talk about each one, just kind of tell you what I have. I have the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck two roller balls of that perfume that I just got in my Lutz box. So I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I have uh, Christian Dior's Diorissimo, I think this is called. Um, and I've had this tester a few times. I like it. Not my favorite Dior perfume, but nice. I have a tiny, cute little mini Juicy Couture. This is my strawberry perfume from the Body Shop. It's a full size, but it's so small I keep it in that drawer. This is a little mini Flora by Gucci. This is really nice for the summer. I don't tend to reach for it in the winter, but I love it in the summer. This is also by Gucci. It's Guilty Intense. Um, haven't really tried it. Dolce and Gabbana the one I just I love these because they're so cute because they're miniature bottles but I don't really reach for them that much just Cavalli love this as a little mini bottle it is the Dior addict perfume and it is beautiful love the smell of it love the bottle and the big bottle looks just like that looks like they're lip glosses and then I have my body shop perfume oils and I have three of those I have White Musk, which you would have seen in my Summer Lovin' video, and Strawberry, which you also saw in that video, and finally Mango. I don't have much mango left. Um, I used to wear this every day in the summer because um, I used to work for the government, and here in Canada, in Nova Scotia particularly, it's like scent-free zone, like you get sent home if you smell like anything. Um, but I used to sneak some of this mango oil on, on myself during the day. Um, when I left my job, that was like my, the first thing that I cheered about. I was like, oh, I can wear perfume again. So now I'm going to go through my big bottles of perfume and I'm going to start with the one-offs, the things that I only have like one perfume by that maker and then I'll show you the ones that I have like a few of. I have a Grace perfume by Philosophy. This is called Inner Grace. Now my lovely wife Denise wears Amazing Grace and that smell makes me weak on her. I just love it. But I smelled this one one day when I was at Sephora and really, really liked it. It's a very light, clean scent like most of the Philosophy scents, but a nice one for during the day. This perfume, uh, the bottle alone, even if it smelled horrible, who wouldn't want to have this? It is gorgeous. This, of course, is the Jean-Paul Gaultier perfume, um, and it is simply called his Summer Fragrance for Women. There was one for dudes, too, I think. Anyway, it is lovely, kind of a spicy, sweet scent, and um, the bottle is just to die for. And it's got, like, this kind of tattoo design all over it, so, you know, I love that. This is a very inexpensive perfume that I got at Bath & Body Works. And you might think, oh, you got it because it's pink. And certainly when I saw it, I thought, oh, that bottle's going to look lovely in my makeup room. It's called Pink Chiffon. But once I bought it, oh, I'm so in love with the smell of it. You should know that I lean toward, I have a lot of different perfumes, but I lean towards sweet perfumes. I really, really enjoy the smell of sweet perfumes. And this one is definitely sweet. It smells a little bit like cotton candy, which is the combination of strawberry and white musk from the body shop. So for an inexpensive perfume, I really, really enjoy this one. This is another favorite and I'm almost out of this. Um, if you came to the taping of the candy show this year, you would have smelled this on me. And in fact, one of the fans that I hugged when I was uh, coming out from backstage 
at Facebook the next day that all the way home he could smell uh, my perfume on his shirt. And it is Ed Hardy uh, Hearts and Daggers for Women, which is in, again, a gorgeous bottle with all this beautiful tattoo design on the top. Let me take the top off. It's all pink underneath. But again, not much of that left. A beautiful, sweet smell with a little bit of a kind of a spicy um, top note to it. A perfume that I just got that really I got with, you know, with the thought of this would be great for summer. I wanted a Jo Malone. I wanted to try a Jo Malone perfume. I've never tried one before. Um, as you know, she has a whole line of incredible kind of earthy and organic smells. The one I got is Earl Grey and Cucumber Cologne. So Earl Grey tea is like my favorite tea and um, I love the smell of cucumbers so I thought well I'm gonna give it a try and I really really like it. Yeah, It sort of smells like summer and Earl Grey tea and clean cotton all rolled into one and I really love the clean sleek bottle. Um, there's something about those plain bottles. Here's another one that I also got for summer and I've been using this like mad so I'm already like down to here and I only got it about a month ago. It is Sugar Like Chi by the, by the brand Fresh and you know the bottle it looks like those old apothecary bottles and it smells like um, a drink. <laughs> it smells like you've arrived at a pool party and someone is mixing up a really cool summer cocktail with lychee in it oh, and that's what it smells like I, I really love it it doesn't stick though that would be my only complaint with this is um i spray it on i love how it smells a couple hours later i can't really smell it much anymore this is a perfume i wear a lot in fall it's hypnotic poison by dior if you've watched my videos you'll know that um when Dior, when Poison first came out, like back in 85, 86, I went through this crazy thing. I took a train all the way from Dahazi, New Brunswick to Halifax, Nova Scotia, where I live now, um, in order to buy Poison, and it smelled horrible on me, but I didn't care. I wore it anyway. I was thrilled when they came out with Hypnotic Poison because it smells wonderful on me. I love the bottle, this red kind of fading into burgundy. Uh, it kind of, to me, looks like an apple in a way and it's really it's like poison with but sweeter because i find poison was more spicy and in the fall as soon as the weather starts to get crisp this is what i reach for and i wear it pretty much every day this of course denise got me for christmas when it came out because how could i not own this it's candy by prada um when they name a perfume after me i've got to wear it i've worn this a lot as you can see it's down quite a bit it has um it has a smell now. I've argued with people at cosmetics counters about this, but when I was in high school, I wore Chantilly lace all the time. And this reminds me of the smell of Chantilly lace. Therefore, I absolutely love it. My only complaint with this perfume, I don't like the color of the perfume itself. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but I find that perfume, this color is a bit old fashioned looking, if you know what, if you know what I mean. Uh, but this, you know, once you spray it on, who? who sees the color, nobody does. Uh, but the bottle is gorgeous. I love that it's named after me and I love that it smells so good. And reminds me of my high school days. Now this next perfume is a Lancome Tresor. This, except this isn't the original Tresor. This is the Tresor in Love. I originally, I think I was about 21 or 22, I bought some Lancome makeup. It was a gift with purchase. And in the gift of purchase, I got this little tube of Tresor uh, body lotion and I gave it to my mom and she absolutely loved the smell of it. And my mother is, was not a woman who would ever spoil herself or spend money on herself. And she went down to the drugstore. She didn't realize it was a more expensive perfume. She went down to the drugstore in my little town. They didn't even carry it. Um, so I remember buying her a bottle. I always loved it, but for some reason never bought it. And just this year when this Tresor in Love came out, I gave it a smell and I realized I loved it even more than the original, so I had to have it. I really love this bottle with the little black rose um, tied around the neck of it. I think it's really, really sharp. And it's such... This is like a romantic grown-up smell. Like All my perfumes are sweet and kind of little girlish, uh, but I feel like 
a full grown woman when I'm wearing this. This, and there's another one I don't have, um, but it's Shalimar by Guerlain. And I, when I smell Shalimar, I, I always think, oh, that's a grown up ladies perfume. I mean, I'm 44 years old, but on some level I still never feel like a grown up. But I feel like this, that scent is a grown up scent. This is more of a teenager scent, but you know what? I absolutely love it. Um, of course, Juicy Couture. Who can't love the bottle? It's a weapon, first of all, because it weighs 57. With the pink bow and all the little metal medallions hanging off it and the cool crest on the front, it's just gorgeous. It too is a beautifully sweet scent, um, but with a little bit of spice in it. And I just, I wish I could wear like a different perfume every hour because I love so many of these perfumes. And this is one that I really love. I'm probably gonna like switch to this early fall before the weather starts to get cold, like end of August, early September, because for some reason, certain scents speak to me at certain times of the year, and that's one of them. Now I'm gonna get into some of the things that I have more than one from the same designer. So first of all, two perfumes I have from Vera Wang. One is Vera Wang Princess, which comes in this gorgeous little heart-shaped bottle with a little crown with this with the um, pinky purple jewels on top it's a very soft and romantic smell um, if I was gonna have a date with Denise kind of home uh, this is the kind of smell that I would put on I really really like it this one I got for our wedding um, wow two, two summers ago now three three summers ago time flies uh, I bought it because how could I not own this bottle? It's incredible. But I wanted to wear it on our wedding because it has a little, you know, Cupid's arrow on the front and it's called Love Struck. And I was Love Struck. I was Love Struck 13 years ago when I met her. I was Love Struck 10 years later when I married her. And I'm still Love Struck 13 years in. So um, this was really my perfume for my wedding and I really enjoy the smell of it. It is, I would say, oh, I, you know what, I suck at describing perfume. I'm not going to keep trying because I'm just going to say they all either smell sweet or, or spicy because I'm not really good at it. But it's a smell that I really, really enjoy. Another one that I have two of is DKNY. Now, I used to have just the plain Be Delicious by DKNY. In fact, I think for about a year and a half, that's all I wore. When it first came out, the original Be Delicious by DKNY, couldn't get enough of it. Um, I've since moved on, but this year when DKNY came out with their limited edition city scents, I got two of the four that were available. I got um, Be Delicious Paris, which is, it has the Paris skyline all along the, the bottle, and the perfume itself is kind of a blue color. And it is a, a more sophisticated version of Be Delicious. But my favorite one from that whole line, from all four of them, is the Be Delicious Rio. So it has the Rio de Janeiro skyline. And this one is really, it smells like what you would expect Rio to smell like. It has, a, again, a very summery scent, but sweet and kind of smoky. Um, now, I've said it in my first perfume video, and I'm going to say it again. I don't want to hear any haters going on about Britney Spears, because first of all, I got no room for haters, period. Uh, let people be who they want to be. The girl has had a boatload of success. I'm a metalhead, so clearly her music's not my music. However, I'm going to say this. Girlfriend knows how to make her some perfume. <laughs> like, she has not had a miss yet, in my humble opinion. For probably a year and a half after Curious came out, I wore Curious nonstop. Um, what was the other one? There was another one by her that I wore, and then I now own three of hers. I have Cosmic Radiance. Now, the original Radiance had the blue and pink jewels on the bottle. I haven't smelled that, so I'm going to have to check it out because the Cosmic Radiance, I really, really love the smell of. And I love that her perfumes are like affordable. You spray it on in the morning and at 10 o'clock at night, you still smell like the perfume. They're like really, you know, they last. I have her original fantasy perfume, 
which is so sweet. Oh, and the look like look at the bottle. Pink with little pale green jewels on it. I mean, how can you can't get enough of that? I thought that was gonna be my favorite of her perfumes until Midnight Fantasy came out. Oh, Midnight Fantasy is my favorite perfume of all my perfumes. And it's so funny because like I think I paid $20 for this Mongo bottle of it. Um, but and there was a rumor about two years ago that it was being discontinued, but it's not discontinued. I see it all the time. I bought two of these big bottles when they um, said it was going to be discontinued because I was freaking out that I wouldn't be able to get it. I just love it. Now, one thing I'm curious about, I see online a new fantasy called Island Fantasy. The bottle's really cool. It's kind of turquoise and pink, but it's not available yet in Canada and I can't even find it like on eBay or anything like that. I did just find Circus Fantasy on eBay and it hasn't come in yet. So I'll let you know what that smells like when it comes. But I'm really excited to try Island Fantasy when it comes, but I doubt it's gonna beat out Midnight Fantasy for me. So Britney Spears, lover or hater, but you gotta admit, she's got some serious perfume. I love her perfume. My collection with Marc Jacobs started with this gorgeous perfume, which is called Oh Lola. And I saw this bottle and I just remember walking toward it saying, please let it smell good, please let it smell good, please let it smell good, please let me like it. And then I was thrilled that, of course, I do like it. And so I was able to buy it knowing that I would actually wear it. Not just because it has the most gorgeous, gorgeous bottle ever. So, you know, these are one, this is one of those perfumes that when I'm done with this perfume, I'm probably not going to throw this bottle out for a bit. I'll hoard it and then eventually get rid of it. Now, I have never owned Marc Jacobs Daisy. Although every time I get a tester of it, I absolutely love it. And I think, oh, I should own this. It smells so nice. But this year he came out with a limited edition Daisy O oh So Fresh, like EAU So Fresh, with this really cute, different multicolored top on it. As you know, the original Daisy, it's all white. And I wasn't gonna get it. I had Denise with me one morning. We were at the beauty boutique at Shoppers Drug Mart. And she saw the bottle and said, oh, how come you don't own that? And I was like, well, you know, I was trying to cut back. And she was like, oh, get it. So I got it and I got the big one and it was on sale and it was like the second last one that was there. And then comically, we just ordered like this really new, amazing sound system so that I can play my records again and it'll cut through the TV the whole bit. And Denise was kind of getting an eye tick because um, I got my sound guy from the show to put it all together. And uh, when we found out how much it was going to cost. And so um, I convinced her that, yeah, we should get it. And then the next day, she's like, oh, did you get this email from Sephora? There's a new Marc Jacobs perfume out. And I was like, oh, no, it's fine. You know, that bottle is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. But I don't need it. No, it's fine. You know, we're getting the stereo. So I'm not going to spend any more money. And then I looked at the email and I didn't realize it's called Honey. And I love the smell of honey. Like everything at Lush that's honey based, the Nivea lip balm that's milk and honey. I just love honey stuff. So I got it. <laughs> um, Denise is going, uh. but look at this bottle. Like there's a little pearl up here with the little bumblebee wings and you know, an opaque yellow top with the white dots and then see through with the white dots and another little bumblebee there. And it really does have a beautiful scent that has like a honey undertone. And I wish I could remember every time I smell it, it reminds me of something else that I had years ago, but I can't think of what it is. Um, so I'm really, really digging these Marc Jacobs perfumes. And finally, you would have seen all of these in my original collection. I love Kat Von D perfumes and I've bought every one that she has had. Um, and most of these now, except for two of them, are no longer available. So I'm really kind of pumped that I have it. This one is called Poetica. It's in this kind of purple and clear um, bottle. It's a gorgeous, very romantic, very heavy smell. This one in the black bottle with the red is called Adora. And it too is kind of a heavier, more sophisticated smell. But both of them are no longer available, so I'm really thrilled that I have them. I'll be bummed when I use them up because that'll be it. I won't be able to get them again. And I also have her Sinner and Saint. Now, those are the only perfumes that she still has available. I have Sinner in the large uh, bottle, which is kind of burgundy fading into clear. 
and my favorite perfume of hers, Saint. And I bought it in this really beautiful decorative, uh, it's, they consider it a purse atomizer. I would not carry something this big in my purse, but it's very cute. It's got skulls and stuff down the side. This is one of those perfumes that when I wear it all day long, like if I turn my head and I get a whiff of myself, I, I, I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I smell so good. I really, really love that perfume. And I think a lot of people must because as I said, her other perfumes kind of came and went really quickly within six months. But uh, Sinner and Saint have been around for be almost two, maybe three years now. So... So there you have it. The only other perfume I have is I keep in this Bath and Body Works. This used to be a Bath and Body Works candle and I just cleaned the jar out. And inside I have a gazillion little perfume testers. So every time I order from Sephora or I go to Shoppers Beauty Boutique and I get perfume samplers, I tuck them in here. And when I travel, because um, as you may or may not know, I'm a comedian, I'm an entertainer, so I travel a lot for my work. When I travel, I just go here and I pull out a tester and I take it with me for the weekend or the week or however long I'm going to be away. And it's a nice, small, compact way to bring some perfume with me. And lots of times um, I will pull one out that I've never tried before and after wearing it for a week, I can come back and say, you know what, I will never spend my money on that or, oh my goodness, I absolutely love that, I'm going to have to go and get it. So there you have it. That was my perfume collection. Hope that you enjoyed it. I was really shocked at the number of views my first perfume collection got. Really, it's one of my most watched videos. So I thought because my collection has grown so much, it was kind of time to do it again. And for those of you that have been asking, I am going to do a room tour. I'm just waiting for one more thing in here, which is my shoe rack. And once my shoe rack gets in, um, it still won't be perfectly complete, but I'll definitely do a room tour then and show you my new unit behind me and all my makeup storage. So until then, make sure that you follow me on Instagram because you'll see some pictures and short videos there. Uh, you can find me under The Candy Show on Instagram. Give this uh, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave me a comment below with perfumes that you really like or things that you didn't see in my collection that you think I should have or if you have some the same as me. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.